So what's the difference between the Grip 6 version 1 and version 2? Well, let's take a look. No, no, sorry, they're, they're, they're not the same. Here we go. Grip 6 V1, Grip 6 V2. Let's get them out of their box so we can start talking about them. Both version 1 and version 2, these are both made in the United States. So let's look at version 1 first. This, uh, it has a loop option to it. It also has one without, which you saw in version 2. Uh, that same capability is there. Let's take this, this leather sleeve off first. You'll notice that we've got on the front and back, these are bright dipped anodized aluminum. These are a CNC 6061 and it has a nice feel to it. There are of course screws that attach the front plate and the back plate to the injection molded interior. So it's not a unibody design like we see with Sequitur Extra, uh, which have their guts inserted from the bottom. And uh, the top grain leather sleeve that we have right here, which we'll put back in and we can see this functions. This provides additional card or cash primarily capacity. Here, let's get this in and we'll get the uh, there we go. It has a slot right here for the trigger. And so you can put cards or additional cash in here because you can really only put cards on the box. What I do like about this is that this leather is not a thin veneer of leather. This is a nice weight of full grain veg tan leather. And this is sewn using a high tensile fiber yarn. I've actually seen them making these when they were producing them at their factory. So if we look at the features of this, we've got a full box card slot here, or a card box slot, capacity up to six, seven cards, depending if they're embossed or not. And you got this slide grip press extra extractor here. And there's two functions to this. You press that, and what it does is it pulls back and releases this. So cards, when it's not being pressed, are locked in here underneath this lip. When you press it, it not only pushes up from the extractor arm down here, but it actually pulls this back so you can actually get them out. And as mentioned, you got this leather slip case for additional cards or cash folded twice. Let's take a quick look at version two. Version two, the wallet body is a CNC machine from a 5052 H32 aluminum, and it's bent at a 90 degree. So you can see it's almost a full unibody and provides the insert for the mechanism, which is also injected molded. And uh, it uses a performance blend of plastics that's really engineering grade to handle the abuse as well as well, the longevity required has the same mechanism here at the top, where as you push the lever down, it pulls back, releasing access to the card. So that mechanism hasn't really changed, but you've got just a fantastic, more unibody type design here that is really quite nice. Then they have what this option here, which if we get into the features, we'll see that it provides this leather slip case. It's called the sidecar, and the sidecar has additional cash and card uh, capabilities, fold it twice for cash, and a capacity of up to eight additional cards right here plus cash. This main body in here uh, the, is, of course, still up to six or seven, depending if they're embossed or not, and the grip extractor that we have that we just talked about. This makes it quite thinner by way of its look and feel compared to the slip that we have here. We also look at uh, the size of this. It is marginally smaller. And so I'm gonna, from here on out, take the leather slip case off. So we're looking at almost apples to apples. So you can see that this is a bit wider on the V1 versus the V2. You stack them and it becomes uh, very obvious. Let's get, the, let's get the side where we've got the extractor going on and let's line them up. We do that right here. You can see that we've got some space on the exterior right here. So a little bit, a little bit narrower on the V2 versus the V1. Now, when we look at what they can do, the V1 has a capacity up to 10 cards, V2 capacity up to 14 cards. For cash, they both must be folded twice to fit in either version of the wallet. For V1, without the leather insert, it's 72 grams. With the leather, it's 95. For the V2, it's 68 grams without the sidecar, the wingman. And with the, with the wingman, included its 80 grams. Now, despite the build differences, Grip6 really still hasn't addressed the biggest issue with their wallets, card fanning and ejection craziness. Let's look. We mentioned this when we did uh, the original V1 here, that when you push the lever down, I'm doing this very gingerly, you can see that we don't have a tremendous amount of consistency in the fanning. It's kind of all over the place. Now, of course, you can take your fingers and thumb to pull those out, but then you start getting into crazy and then it's like, there's no, <laughs> no control on the sides there. And that's something that we've seen be consistent. So let's take this over to the V2. Lots of feedback on this since then. And if we put cards in, they lock in the top, just like we do with the V1. And again, we're looking at, okay, how does fanning? A little better, not really. Um, and notice how they just pop up and pop down. Okay. Uh, and if I put those down and put, and I don't have to put a lot of pressure, 
they start coming out. Now, the reason this happens is because we don't still have any friction strips on either side. That's what makers like Secred, Exter, and others put there so that when you're pushing down on their lever, cards come out, it reduces that ejection trajectory. If not, then they become missiles like I was showing you there. So now when it comes to triggers like the GRIP-6, more than competitors is you won't likely suffer from accidental break-off uh, that we see with Exter in particular. So this is a great design by way of this extractor button. So you won't have break-off here like you see. And I, I think this is probably the most robust trigger that I've seen on wallets in quite some time that are box in nature. Okay, so what does all this mean? It means GRIP-6's version 2 has superior build improvements from version 1. But the baseline for functional use hasn't really changed. It's arguably the most important thing you'd want to improve. So if you like this video, then look at the GRIP-6 version 2 full review here, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.